My name is uh, Hector Garcia, and I'm the director for quantitative metabolic modeling at uh, the Fuel Synthesis Division in JLA. So what we do here is we study metabolism, in particular the metabolic fluxes, where this carbon is going all the way from glucose, and try to divert as much of this uh, carbon all the way from the glucose into the biofuel. So we measure these fluxes in, in my group, and then we try to predict how these fluxes will change when we make uh, genetic modifications uh, using synthetic biology by knocking out a gene or knocking down a gene or making a, other different changes. Metabolism is uh, how we uh, human beings and, and life in general extracts energy from the environment to power itself, right? So um, it's basically the same energy that you, you can see in a, in a flare, in a, in a flame. In a flame you have electrons from uh, wood that go to oxygen and that releases a lot of energy and that creates a flame. Metabolism is like a slow combustion, where we're taking these same uh, high energy electrons from glucose, from food, and then we are donating them to, uh, to um, oxygen when we respire, when we breathe. And that is creating the same amount of energy that would create a flame, but it's just powering our body. What we're trying to do here is try to uh, design biology, to predict biology. When you make changes by using synthetic biology, what is going to happen with your biological entity, with your cell? So we like to be able to build uh, uh, cells with the same ease that we build uh, phones or computers. That's where we're trying to go. To try to make biology as easy to engineer as physical systems and to try to understand what makes uh, life life, in, in a sense. Well, we work with uh, a lot of other divisions, particularly with technology, producing new technologies. One of the things we are very interested in doing is creating microfluidic chips so we can um, create uh, our, our um, cells and phenotype them, that is to study them and change them, all of it into a microfluidic chip. So there will be no need for uh, people to do that and the whole process will be automated in a, in a single chip. That way we could do everything in, a, in an automated fashion and, and, and free of human intervention. Here at JV you have technologies from uh, all over the Bay Area with expertise in a variety of, of different fields. So that gives us the opportunity to uh, do a lot, of, uh, a lot of things that are very hard to do in any other places. So typically biology is done by, by uh, uh, doing a single experimenter analysis. Or what we're trying to do here at JV is to industrialize that to automate most of that so we can do more and we can do things that we couldn't do in any other way. So we can, uh, in a sense, you know, gather the vast amounts of data that we need in order to calibrate our models and be able to, pre uh, to precisely predict what's going to happen to a cell when we make changes. So the fact that we have the technologies like uh, such as microfluidics or NIMS or, or, or you know, all the proteomics or so on, that allows us to start gathering that data to, to know those uh, cells in a very intimate way and, and start creating these models that will help us uh, um, design them more, much more efficiently.